What's going on, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? Shabbat up. Shabbat Ross. We're in the Clutch. Hey, hey. back to ladies and gentlemen of the video today. You feel me? News wardrobe bloopers. This should be uh, a very interesting one, man. Yeah, the news blooper are always the most hilarious, mm -hmm. man. And I hope you guys are enjoying them, man. Continue to run with them, like, subscribe. We Let's are back uh, with the wardrobe blooper this time. So All right. let's run it up and let's see how these bloopers pan out. Let's do it. Let's on do the it. Wardrobe. From live on air drama to unforgettable wardrobe malfunctions, News Wardrobe Bloopers unveils the hilarious oh, wow. moments that left journalists red faced and viewers in shock. In a wacky What's going twist on, on there? ABC News, the dynamic duo was deep in weather forecast discussions when the lady host faced a pressing dilemma from Mother Nature. Swiftly slipping backstage, oh. she thought her bathroom break was discreet. Little did she know our genius cameraman seized the moment. It looked like he kind of panned that way too. Angle. Damn. Even our beloved Angie well, Harmon isn't didn't. immune to fashion foibles. During her chat about the Fox and Friends season preview, her shirt decided to play peekaboo, perhaps due to some mysterious cosmic pull or rebellious buttons. But fear not, <laughs> oh, Angie's damn. style skills saved the day. Oh, yeah, she, she swiftly rebuttoned and did. brushed off the mishap like a true yeah, pro. Just, Came undone, as we were talking about. <laughs> well, and I'm back. Free. Okay. Dude's <laughs> This video today is brought to you by Bespoke. Bespoke. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome mm -hmm. top shelf goods from under the radar brands. Okay. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel anytime. Oh wow, that's not bad. 9% of the products come from small brands, many of which based right here in the US. For example, if you go with the Forge, the Damascus steel knife is made by Buckbear knives located in Pennsylvania. And that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, nah, it is. Every month they introduce their members to cool new products. Okay. Outdoor gear, mm. uh, bear wear, home and kitchen goods, uh, clothing, and even more, even like oysters. Oysters? Oysters. Okay. Based on a preference quiz that you fill out. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Every box of awesome has around $70 worth of goods inside, but cost you only a fraction of the value. You can't beat that. You man. can't, man. And you also can preview your box before it's shipped. Mm -hmm. You'll get a box of awesome assigned to you. And before it's shipped, you'll get a preview of what comes inside to decide if you'll like it. So one, keep it, or two, swap it for a different box. Or three, you can skip the month entirely for no charge. You only pay for what you want. Man, that's a cool deal. You can't beat that. Not at all. So I decided to go with the compact camp chair. For those who don't know, I like to go to car meets and stuff like that, or maybe go to a, a pool party. It's hot down here in Texas, so a lot of people having pool parties may not have chairs or whatnot, and I think this was something that I, I, I sorely needed because, you know, standing around all the time can get tiresome for my old man knees, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I decided to get this it's easy to set up it doesn't take long at all uh, the leg chairs have this magnet type system where all you do as soon as you open it out the bag it just kind of folds unfolds into itself easy to set up and you know it's quite comfortable gets the job done and then when I'm ready to leave got to go somewhere else I just pack it right up put it right in my bag and it's easy to carry it's not like those other type of chairs where they're they're kind of huge and you know kind of heavy a lot to set up and take back apart so definitely if you're someone that's on the go all the time the the compact camp chair is going to be something you could definitely pick up all right so i myself i was able to pick up the the dram okay uh, so you know for those that like their whiskey and stuff i will mm -hmm. say the packaging was really nice okay you know, getting the the bubble wrap and everything up out of there but mm -hmm. this came with a nice old-fashioned uh drink mixer oh. as well with two of the big ice balls it makes ice balls two and a half inches uh, so that way you can put it in your glass mm -hmm. and you'll be able to enjoy that nice uh, robust look feel robust. for when you're drinking at your drinks, <laughs> depending on if you're having company or not. And these are the glasses here that I also got. Very nice, very fancy looking, and I'm telling you, it's gonna look nice on my shelf. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, and also got a field guide to whiskey. Oh. So this is kind of like your your manual. You want to learn the history of whiskey and where certain uh, brands come from and how they kind of distill some of it. Oh, okay. All of that information is in this book here. I was able to read and breeze through some of it. A lot of it is really, really informational for the people that are real good into whiskey. <laughs> So yeah, the, the dram is definitely, definitely pretty cool. So if you guys enjoy that grown isk type feel and having that good vibe when you're drinking or enjoying company, you know, you can definitely pick up this box here. I really enjoyed it and I loved it and I was able to chill and kind of have that peaceful tone uh, for the evening. To get 20% off your first box of awesome, 
Click the link in the description and enter Clutch20 at checkout or go to bespoke.com forward slash Clutch20 and that way you can get that 20% off that next discount, man. Come on, man. I don't know what you guys are waiting for. Again, thanks Bespoke for working with us. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and go get your boxes as well. The ultimate source of entertainment and news delivered a hilarious surprise recently. Julie Banderas, the news anchor, was so at ease in front of the camera that she unknowingly gave viewers a glimpse of her cleavage. Oops. But fear not, she quickly caught the wardrobe malfunction and fixed her posture like a pro. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. Leadership pose, so it's but, you know, she did keep more it, you know, live yeah, no, no, I wanted to try to keep it professional. How you doing over there, Julie? I'm doing, I'm doing. Uh, right. <laughs> How you doing over there, Julie? <laughs> the I see. Surprise. How did it happen, you ask? A guy was attempting to perform magic tricks for Casey oh. through a blue curtain. But oops, the covering mysteriously vanished, revealing the girl's bra for all to see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> some boys got him a view that news morning. Oh, oh. How's your morning going, man? I just seen some good news over yeah. here. In a bizarre yet hilarious twist, this unsuspecting woman seemed perfectly composed as the camera zoomed in on her. However, upon closer examination, her not so intentional reveal of legs oh. and undergarments <laughs> while the camera zoomed out left everyone in stitches. Oh, Lesson no. learned, always watch out for those zooming Jeez. lenses. Damn. An Italian anchor joyfully delivers the forecast to her audience. However, there's more to this broadcast than meets the eye. Thanks <laughs> yeah. to the unfortunate camera angle, the viewers get an unexpected glimpse of the anchor's undergarments, and it's a moment that won't soon be forgotten. <laughs> Damn. The ever entertaining Uzi Kundi we'll left her stitches once again. That As yeah. she confidently rose from her seat, oh. a person snatched her chair from behind. Uh, Before we knew it, she went from standing tall to taking a sudden and unexpected tumble to the cold. ground. That was cold. It's got to lift Lizzie up a bit. And he Bring just took it, too. Oh. Oh. She was already in, in, in yeah. falling, sitting down motion. You couldn't even do nothing about that. Uh, I can't believe you. This guy proudly flaunted his top-notch headphones to a girl. But oh boy, fate had other plans. The girl's nerves got the best of her, and she accidentally dropped the precious headphones, causing an epic mishap. To her utter horror, she couldn't hold it in. And well, let's just say there was a headphone water fusion. Each pair is made by hand. That Get can't be real, bro. That, I hope that's not real. I think bro. that that gotta be a yeah. skit, bro. Ain't no, ain't no way. Nah, that's fam. on. Nah, bro. Nah, fam. That definitely gotta be a skit or some sort. It bro. gotta Juggle be. Asian bro. men are around because they're always up to something hilarious. A local news segment of three Asian men discussing the latest headlines. When out of the blue, one of them experienced a surprising mishap. His chair gave in. And he hilariously tumbled to the floor. <laughs> he, tried to catch it. he tried to catch it too. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> she tried not to laugh. The poor stunning anchor was engrossed in a delightful chat with her colleagues while donning an elegant white dress. Little did she know that amidst the conversation, she unintentionally gave the viewers a cheeky peek at her undergarments not while adjusting her outfit. Talk about making headlines. Cheeky peeky. <laughs> The two reporters passionately discussed the latest headlines when suddenly one burst into laughter, setting off a chain reaction of giggles. No news bulletin was safe from their contagious mirth. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, reporter Wendy Birch was fearlessly holding court in Downton, LA. Dog. When suddenly an unexpected twist jolted the scene. Out of this thin air, a mischievous here. black clad gentleman dramatically crashed the rocket. Mischievous rocket. Mischievous rocket. Mischievous rocket. Running for cover. And it's likely of one course. of the most international cities. <laughs> You're working here, man. I'm just my bad, bro. Okay. Breaking news from Downtown Ferguson. Downtown LA. You this thought that was it. This wild video is like a puzzle with pieces that don't belong together. There's a riot going on. But wait, someone strolls by as if they're in a peaceful garden. And then hold on to the next scenes where it's so bizarre I can't even wrap my head around. It. Why is he strolling uh, like he's just? Hold on, I, I realize. Can I just just I realize something's happening in Ferguson, but we're talking about something important here. So can you at least split screen the video? <laughs> A daring reporter attempts to imitate the football sensation Cristiano Ronaldo's native language, only to hilariously falter in pronunciation. The tables turn when Cristiano decides to play teacher, attempting to school the reporter in the art of saying the words correctly. Concentrado. Concentrado, Concentrado. Concentrado. It seems like he the drama of chairs tried. collapsing during news channel interviews is struck once more. 
No surprise to say, Dog, the as chances. these mishaps are practically old news. <laughs> Bro, the, the opportunity what's up with these chairs? Is actually after the table oh. The... <laughs> it's Spanish always, words may be tricky. It's, it's always the sound effect yeah. before it happened, bro. <laughs> I was like, bro, y'all gotta get some sturdier chairs Come in on, these, uh, these new studios, man. Come Help on. Them out. Who's the reporter committing that epic oopsie? Oh no, senor. Hold on to your sombreros and check out this hysterical clip where a hapless reporter stumbles over Spanish football cup tournaments. Another title up for grabs, uh, uh, La Liga and uh, the Copa del Rey, uh, uh, Real Madrid, of course, with uh, 10. <laughs> a reporter got caught doing her makeup and gazing at her reflection live. Little did she realize the camera was rolling and bam, oh, her backstage no. antics were splashed all over the show for viewers to revel in. We're live. No one's saying anything? Nobody's saying anything, fam. Does she gotta have a headset in or, or earpiece or something? Like, the cameraman nope. ain't gonna pan on her. Good morning, welcome to Anglia News. Live oh, on Fox God. News once more, the set? our host is engaged in a lively chit chat with her guest. She starts feeling quite uneasy about her outfit, specifically her legs stealing the spotlight. With awkward attempts to change angles and positions, her discomfort becomes crystal clear for all viewers to see. It's a leggy affair on the news today, folks. Oh, yeah. She, In a hilarious twist on Traffic mm -hmm. Patrol, the hostess unleashed her fury at the team for failing to provide her with the oh-so-comfy heels for the show. Talk about a shoe shocker. <laughs> wow. If I her shoes, pun intended, I'd probably react the same way. Breaking news from okay. one of these Premier League matches. Brace yourself for a hilarious <laughs> twist as our English news reporter goes live. Go? We've got all the action. And yes, even the Englishmen couldn't escape the dreaded chair mishaps. Bro, what is up with these uh, chairs? The community shield game, uh, much. <laughs> <laughs> the sound effect before it happened. Global news reporter found oh, yeah, bro, an it's classic. During an interview with some swimmers, just when he thought he had it all under control, <laughs> whoosh, he slipped right into the pool out of nowhere. This nigga almost drowned. He thought it was more shallow than what it was. Sorry about that. Dog. In a hilarious on air blunder, a oh, traffic damn. reporter from Channel 12 News was caught dozing off mid television. Uh, As the cameras rolled, she was startled awake by her quick thinking colleague. Who knew traffic updates could be natural? <laughs> Yo, Wake Jenny. Up, Jenny. Wake up, girl. You're acting like you were on the 11 o'clock news last night or something. What? Hey, it's time for traffic. Jenny, come on, oh, Jenny. No. <laughs> Jenny. Oh, How? damn, bro. You should. Had you some extra coffee or something, man. Jenny, how? She was sleep for real. She and they ain't even try to wake up before they. No one to said her. none. Hey, Jenny, wake up. Hey, Jenny. It's, it's almost just, on. Yeah. Just bam, Jenny. That's you work late, Jenny, right? I didn't even set the maps. Everything. I was on the eleven o'clock news. I did the sports. I'm really tired, but I did. During a lively powwow, wow. a squad of fabulous hostesses found themselves in stitches when one of them whipped out an XXXL bra gifted by the crew before the show. Q wardrobe malfunctions galore. Laughter filled the room as they <laughs> attempted to figure out just who this colossal contraption was meant for. Yeah. How'd it go? Well, I, I was also wearing, were you wearing the wrong size? Oh yeah. That was, happens to a lot of this women. This is the now. size I was wearing. <laughs> Right, right. I don't know. I don't know how Dumb. you made that mistake, really. Well, I really, it was just poor judgment, really. I mean, poor I guess, judgment. I poor know. judgment. But it turns out I'm a guy. <laughs> okay. As the reporter delved into the private lives of barnyard residents, a rooster decided he mm -hmm. had enough of the invasion of his barn. So yeah. is... With timing, he perched right on her leg. Dog, homie it was sick of it. For real. Had a bone to pick with the nosy reporter. Yeah, nah, he was over it. You can still see the tire tracks. Hey, I told you not to come here with my family trying to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Our beloved reporter had a nosy situation on live TV. Oh, wow. An acquaintance just couldn't resist poking and prodding, turning our reporter's face into a playground. It was hilarious, folks. But hey, she's stiff no hard feelings. Me, yeah, she we all love a good laugh, even on the airwaves. Or whoever it was. And get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> As the cut broadcast it on. wraps up, watch how this fearless reporter right here unintentionally treated the viewers to an impromptu swearing session and a graceful chair dismount combo. Let this be a valuable lesson, kiddos. The Never chairs. ever swear, especially not on live TV. See you again tomorrow at nine. Fucking perfect. Oh. <laughs> no way, woman, you don't need to help me up, woman. You've done enough damage. You've done enough damage. Oh. 
Oh, why are you so mad, bro? Season, a playground for mishaps. Our dear sister oh, hostess embarked on a effect. thrilling weather expedition with her viewers. Little did she know a speeding car had other plans. Oh. Whoosh, a tidal wave of water enveloped her, they do that turning her wardrobe yeah. into a wet and wild malfunction. Yeah, Boy, that's cold. That hey, you know what? You gotta thank Dan Elliott for you being there. He's the one that noticed that this morning. So if you get nailed and come back all wet. She saw it. Yep. Exactly. It seems mirrors have declared themselves as the latest breaking news. Who can blame her, though? <laughs> Beware of the tipsy in the house, even oh. on your film set. Our reporter hilariously learned this Whoa. lesson. What started as a solemn journalistic scene quickly morphed into an it's unexpected comedy. Jail. You can receive some employment Look. assistance where they'll be and got on resume stakes. and application What is help. going the on? Production plant will be shut down in fake. That's all for today. Hey, oh, shout out to him keeping the composure. He did though, man. Cause <laughs> some people be like, man, hey, watch out. Yeah, get off the damn shot. No, Isaiah Carey out here yeah. in Houston. Oh, bro. <laughs> hey, man, what you you need a job? <laughs> but, oh, no, man, man, this was this was great, man. Y'all got to get some better chairs, man. We got some good yeah, ones right I don't, here. I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> we do got some good ones. We don't have to worry about that. But y'all, y'all are in these nice studios with this expensive equipment. Y'all shouldn't. Your chair shouldn't be creaking, letting you know I'm about to go. <laughs> Like, yeah. Every time, fam. But hey, if y'all enjoyed it, y'all already know what to do. Make sure you want to like, subscribe. Please do. Let us know what else we need to be checking out, man. Continue to spread love. Be love as usual. Keep going first. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace out. Already. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.